Yes, and if you're using the holiday weekend for one last summer road trip, be careful. Yeah, a lot of law enforcement agencies are stepping up their patrols to keep everyone safe on the roads. Allison Struve is near Highway 172 this morning with more. Good morning, Allison. Hey, good morning. That's right. We're right along Highway 172 this morning. People are probably heading to work, but later today, a lot of people might be using this route to head up to Door County for the holiday weekend, kind of the last hurrah of summer. AAA Wisconsin has actually put out some statistics about Labor Day travel. They say 84% of the people who will be traveling this weekend are doing it uh, by automobile. So they'll be out on the roads and only 4% are traveling by air. The rest of them are using other ways to get around. But that just tells you how many people are going to be out on the roads this weekend. Of course, more drivers on the roads can lead to a lot more problems, and it just gets really congested. So you'll, you can expect to see a lot more law enforcement out this weekend. We're with Lieutenant Keith Barth from the Brown County Sheriff's Department. Good morning. Good morning. So what is this weekend like for you guys? What are you getting ready for? Uh, this weekend for us, is especially being a holiday weekend, Friday night is going to be extremely heavy for traffic. Um, right now we are in the middle of a, a, a grant that we have through the uh, Department of Transportation. It's called uh, Over the Limit, Under Arrest. It's a two-week special enforcement period, uh, part of a year-long project. But this two weeks, we do special enforcement, we saturate patrols out there, and we're heavy on education, probably a lot of the commercials that are on TV nowadays and things like that. Uh, we had extra patrols out last night that were in the 41 Corridor project. Uh, we have special enforcement out there. Uh, tonight we're going to have special units out working just traffic, looking for traffic violators and especially drunk drivers. Do you, does it help to be visible out there on the highways that people see your squad cars parked there? When, when we do, especially when we've done the 41 corridor projects, we hear it from the public like, what are all these cops doing out all over the place? <laughs> and those days, there's so many officers out there, it, it's more of a, a visibility. We want to remind people that, hey, we're out there enforcing laws and we want people to slow down. We love it if we never have to give a citation. That's not really what we want to do. We want people to be safe out there. And if we don't have to give a citation, if everybody obeys the laws, that's perfect. That's what we like. So. And again, with the traffic times, it's probably speeding and unsafe driving. But a big push, again, is that drunk driving. Correct, yeah. And we just want people, drinking is legal if you have the legal age. Just don't get behind the wheel. That's mm -hmm. what causes the accidents. If you know you're going to be out, out, out drinking that night, make some arrangements, get a safe ride home somehow, and just don't get behind the wheel. Great. Good reminders. Thank good. you so much. Thank you. So definitely this weekend, have a good time. We're not telling you uh, not to leave your house or anything, but just be safe while you're out there. There's going to be a lot of traffic this weekend. Um, so just uh, watch out for your neighbor driving around. And again, we mentioned people heading to Door County. We're going to head up that way and head over to Bayshore Park, the campgrounds there, a place where a lot of people will be hanging out this weekend. It, uh, it's going to be summery this weekend. So last hurrah of summer. We'll get out there and enjoy it. Hurrah! hurrah. Thanks, yeah. Allison. Thanks, exactly. Allison. Yeah.